So now you have your ball out of the closet, right? It's time to start progressing. So I took away one of the chairs. So now I'm just holding on to one chair lightly while I do those same movements, left to right or left, left to right and front to back. Circles in each direction to review. You can also do little bounces. This is really good for your lymphatic system. However, if you have bladder issues, this is not your exercise. So if you have repeated bladder inflammation, refrain from doing the bouncing. Some other things you can do are to put one foot on, front of the, on top of the other, so you can start with your legs wide. This is easier. Move them in closer. Balance gets a little bit more difficult. Put your feet right together. Balance is a little bit more difficult. Again, you can hold on to the chair. You can hold on to the ball. So chair, easier. Ball, a little more difficult. And if you put your hands on your waist, or even hold them up overhead or up to the side, that becomes more difficult. Put one heel on top of the other foot and bend your knee. You've now narrowed the base of, the, of your support into only one foot. As you do that rolling, and as a result, that exercise is now asking more of your core muscles to contract and stabilize your body. You can also start lifting up one foot straight, one foot straight, and again, chair is easier, holding onto the ball, a little about moderate, and keeping your arms up is going to be the most difficult. Remember to keep your posture up tall. Don't let your body collapse. You want to stay up strong and hold those positions. Then you can also begin adding an arm. To challenge your balance further. You don't have to add all of these in one day because you want to do what you can do so that you feel like you've done something when you finish that five to 10 minute ball workout without feeling overwhelmed or exhausted. And you definitely don't want to do anything that causes you to feel unsafe. So start stretching your envelope and be sure not to tear it. If you'd like to see more of these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Move to improve. That's move. The number two, improve. I'm Mary Thomas and I invite you to take a step into balance.